What's going on y'all? I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this marvelous studio, the Jaren M. LeGuerre Studio. I'm excited to do this. I got a few requests for this. I wanted to make sure I got to this video. So let's get into this analysis. Here is my own voice analysis of Vincent singing Creep. When you were here before Couldn't look you in the eye You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry when you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Everything's kind of rounded before I. It wasn't before I. The pronunciation is intentionally a little bit more warmer and darker. This song kind of has a darker connotation. Darker doesn't mean bad. Darker just means a hue of sound, if you will, or a texture of sound. So then the vowels and the words are a little more rounded. When you were here before. And it's almost an aspirate fade off, a gradual aspirate for the gradual breathy fade off or offset. Look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Cry. Kind of like that. You fall like a feather in a beautiful world. Flow like a feather. So that part right there was kind of more in that head voice thin fold area. Feather in a beautiful world. They kind of went more chesty, thicker on that beautiful world right there. So he's playing with registration or vocal fold mass vibration changes. Da -da 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 feather. Da -da 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 -da. You're so very special. You're so very special. That was nice. That spit had a little scoop in it. You're so very special. And he went to that headier, more thin fold place on special. I love that textural difference right there. That second special right there, that SH sign right there, had a little bit more friction. Special. It's almost like he sung or spoke or made sound through that special. Though it's not a voiced sound, shh, it's not a voiced sound, there's still sound in that. We still have frequency in that, okay? So you can still make sound within an unvoiced consonant or word or phoneme. He did it right there. Special. So that shh had duration and musicality to it too a little bit but I'm a I'm a what the hell am I doing hey. what the hell am I doing He's really using that yodel effect, that yodel going from thick to thin, chest to head, mode one to mode two. Da, 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 da. So he's really using those vocal fold vibration changes to really add texture and interest to his vocal line. for her do that mic stand down it's getting more greedy more bright now Ugh, i don't care if it hurts yeah did you hear that grit on body and soul body soul so it's not a growl, it's more so a compression and an air pressure change. He's really pressing into the sound by way of the air pressure, the subglottal air pressure, how he's using the air with his body to make the sound happen, as well as that compression. So, body, but it's a really good balance. So it has musicality and thickness to it. I'm giving you like a really bird's eye view insight about squalling and growling and making grit and things like that. And you can have different ways of making grit. There are different ways to make 
grit and sound and things like that. But with him, I feel like it was more like an air thing, more so than a compression thing. But I think the compression was a part of it, but he almost kind of let the air pass through, which kind of had that airy part of the grit versus kind of like a squall or a growl where it's kind of thicker in sound because there's compression, but still more vocal fold closure. Here, the vocal fold closure a little bit lessened, so there's more air passing through the voice in a way. I think that's what I hear. I'm just kind of going by what I see on this video, so, you know. More straight tones in this song too, a lot more straight notes. Widow, I'm a creep. A lot of straight tones, throws. I'm a widow. You see those throws that I'm doing? It adds angst in this way to the vocal line. So the he was more puckered and rounded. And then he kind of opened up and kind of gave some embellishment to the here. The word was still here, but it was here right there. was a nice ending and he brought it back into that quiet more eerie type of vibe a lot of times when people go big and kind of go hard on songs they don't know how to end it or kind of control it I was taught that at a young age I remember singing at a church conference I was like in high school and maybe college I remember but I was singing at a church conference and I had this lead the director knew who I was and I walked in and so he wanted me to sing this lead on this song and so I sang this lead and I was you know going big and hard at the end of the song driving it you know the vamp you know giving it you know what I do and the director was like hey do what you do but know how to end the song know how to bring it back down when the song comes back down in volume come back down with the song don't stay up there or be lost come back down do whatever you're gonna do but don't get lost and that was a lesson for me I mean and I did it fine you know I brought it back down and kind of you know brought the song back in but that was a lesson for me to this day I remember him saying that and so now I keep that in mind control the song be in control of the song from beginning to end don't let that song control you you stay in control of that song you drive it you do whatever you need to do but know how to bring it back or bring the song down or however the song needs to end you make sure you do that very thing don't let that song control you don't let that song get out of control control the song know what you want to do be intentional that's what he was saying be intentional know how you want to end it be in control think listen to yourself all of that he was saying so Vincent did a really good job of really bringing the song back down and ending it on that nice serene still thin folds heady moment right there it was a nice ending nice ending if you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted. And as I will always, always, always say to you, be vocally bold, creative and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. All right, y'all. I love you. I'll see y'all soon.